create amazing text effects with SDXL. Hello, my friends. How are you doing? Today, I have something really amazing for you. Look at these amazing and beautiful text effects. And on top of that, you even can do famous logo designs like the Doom logo or World of Warcraft. So in this video, I'm going to show you the best settings, the easiest way to get these effects. And I'm going to show you that in Automatic 11.11 and also in a custom made ComfyUI workflow that you can download below this video. Now let's have a look at the LoRa. You can download it in Civit AI. It's called Hair Logos and it's done by Herod, who is part of my Discord group. So if you join my Discord, you can ask him questions, share your creations with his amazing Laura. And of course, you want to download that and you want to download this. So go to your automatic 1111 folder in there into the models folder. And of course, in there into the Laura folder to save that Laura. As always, I would highly suggest to you that you look at the settings over here. What kind of prompt is used? What kind of steps and CFG scale is used? What kind of sample? because that can really help you get results faster. You can see also in some of these prompts, there is a weight use on the word that is used here. So here we have round brackets and then the weight with a colon and then 1.5. And a very important part here is in the prompt that you write text logo in the beginning and then keep the prompt very simple, not too complex, not too many words, so that the AI can really focus on putting the text into your image. For models to use with this LoRa, I would highly suggest to either use DynaVision XL, which is very nice and also can do a lot of different styles. But personally, I prefer Fenris XL that you probably already have on your drive. It can also do a lot of styles. And I just find that Fenris XL is a little bit easier to work with, easier to prompt for and just has a little bit more flexibility and is overall a little bit more forgiving with the settings and adjustments that you do to get a really good output. Before we go into Automatic 11.11, I quickly want to show you the ComfyUI workflow that I built for you. I separated it out in different sections. So here on the left side, we have the model loader. You can see here I'm loading DynaVision in this case. Down here we have the first LoRa, which is hair logos with a strength of one, clip strength also one. You can also load a second LoRa for different styles or more details if you want to. This is optional. Then we go over here in the prompt and render section where you can see I have a clip encoder and another clip encoder for the negative prompt. Now, the reason why I do this instead of using the efficiency K sampler and efficiency loader is because I found that this LoRa is not working really well with the efficiency nodes. Now down here, we have the setting for the latent image. And personally, I found that if you use a resolution of 768 by 768, or 768 by 1024 or the other way around, you get much better text results. Over here for the K sampler, you want to be in that kind of range here, but also play around with the settings to see what actually helps you get better results with the prompt that you're writing, with the style that you try to play around with. So play around with the different steps you have with the CFG scale. It seems to be that this LoRa works best with the sampler Euler in the schedule normal and denoise is of course at one. And then one thing I would suggest to you also is when you found a seed that works for the prompt or the style you want to work on that you set here the seed generation from randomized to fixed so that you still keep on working with that number and then make adjustments down here to the steps to the CFG scale to the words that you use in your prompt things like that. Once you found an image that you actually like, you can use here my upscaler. For that, I'm having here my load upscale model with the 4x ultra sharp. But of course, if you're going to go for a realistic style, you want to use something different. And then down here, we have our ultimate SD upscaler. Let's have a quick look at the settings here. I'm using the same model, same VAE, everything the same as an input. I also use the Euler sampler with a normal scheduler. The denoise is very low at 0.13, so it doesn't change the image in any way. And then also here for the tile with a half 768 by 768. And as you can see here from the result, this is working very well. Like I said, you can download this workflow below the video. I also include an image that you can alternatively drag into the canvas to 
load this workflow. And I also have another image there that I created with automatic 1111. So you can load it into the PNG info tab. And from there, just load my settings with one click of a button. So let's have a look at automatic 1111. Here I'm using the model Fenris XL. You can see here a very simple and short prompt Venom text logo. So this should always be at the start with the text logo that you want to have. Here we have the LoRa in automatic 1111. It's called by text, but you have down here a tab for the LoRa. So you can click on that. You can see there's a search here type hair and then you have here the hair logo and you can click on that to edit up here into your positive prompt. Click back on the generation tab to have your settings again. You can see I have here a very simplified negative prompt, only malformed letters, nothing else in there. For the sampling method, in this case, I use Euler Ancestral or Euler A, but you can also use Euler for that. I have the same setup here with 22 sampling steps. In this case, I use the CFG scale of four. And again, the resolution of 768 by 768, because I feel like this gives you the highest chance of actually getting the word you want to have with the right spelling. And it also looks good in the design you create. I'm not using control net or anything else in this. It's really just the text prompt. Now here's a fair warning. Even though this lore is really good at creating amazing looking text, SDXL is still not super good at creating the correct text with the correct spelling. So you might still need a couple of tries to actually get there. So I would highly suggest to you that you start with my settings and also with the seed number that I use to get a nice result right away and then experiment from there and feel your way into how to use the LoRa. For me, it took about, let's say, 20 minutes to actually understand how I need to set it up and how to write the prompt and the resolution of 768 by 768 really helped me to get much more often the result that I want to have. Let me know in the comments what LoRa's you are using. It could be an amazing video to make the best LoRa's for SDXL. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video and also join my Discord community and share the amazing text creations that you made with this tutorial. Thanks for watching and see you soon. Bye. Oh, you're still here. So uh, this is the end screen. There's other stuff you can watch like this or that's really cool. And yeah, I hope I see you soon. Uh, leave a like if you haven't yet. And well, um, yeah.